takes a few loaves and a few fishes and he blesses it and he feeds 5,000 besides women and children. That's some power, praise God. We see him in a ship, hallelujah. We see him in a ship when the wind is coming in and it's a Eurachlodon. Jason preached about it. It's coming in from every side. Have you ever been there before? When the wind is coming in and there's no peace and there's no safety and the boat is about to, to sink and we see Jesus stand up in great power and he says, peace be still. And immediately the seas calm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has, come on, some awesome awesome power. Yeah. We see it with Moses as there's thundering and there's lightning in the mountain as he receives the law from God. We see it time and time again as they're parting the Red Sea parts and they walk the awesome power of God. Praise the Lord. We see some awesome things. We're going to see some awesome things in Revelation 19. John saw an awesome power of God when he saw Jesus coming back on a white stallion. He said, I beheld heaven open, and he that sat on the white horse, faithful and true, and in righteousness does he judge and make war. His eyes are glory, are as flames of fire, and his vesture is dipped in blood, and his word, his name is called the word of God. I want you to know that we're serving a God of power. Yes. Amen. <laughs> a God that we need to know. A God that we need to have our eyes enlightened so that we can have an understanding of who he is and what he wants for us as we walk in this Christian experience, praise God. We need to have our eyes open because we're serving a God that is power that can meet every need that you will ever have in your life. You need to know him, praise God.